Do 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 just shoot me now. Pain V2. He's already gone insane, guys. Can you feel the cringe tonight? The pain tonight. Oh, I thought you were gonna say the pain. It will never end. This afternoon. Alright, someone asked me a yes or no question. You gonna is Nirvana Initiative a good game? No, I need to be able to respond to that question with yes. Uh Guganic, is Nirvana Initiative a bad game? Yes. I want to bring up something about the Portuguese title of this movie. So I'm just going to post the, the DVD case for like both the movies, like in the two pack. You tell me what what's off about the remix title. You thought The Incredibles being titled The Incredibles, the superheroes in Portugal was bad. Look at this. It's just fucking the same thing again. The Lion King, the Lion King. Uh, why though? OJ, is, that the, is it the same for you? The Dutch name of Lion King and then in parentheses. Facility, the Lion King. The screenshot I sent is the Dutch Blue Blu-ray set, which is also even dumber because it's the, the version for the Netherlands, but it contains the Dutch version, the Flemish version, and the French version, which is the title on the screen on the left side. So how oh. if you buy the Dutch version, you apparently get the French title on the box set. And then the English is not, not even perhaps it's just both, both yeah. angles next to each other. But you see, you see, it's genius because you get the N and the L for Netherlands. So uh, yeah, yeah. I also love how there's three Disney logos on that box art. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most Disney movie of all time. Okay, let's watch this terrible. So, brief recap. This movie, I, I've only seen it once and it was when it first came out. I remember being bored out of my mind when I watched it, so I'm not looking forward to seeing this at all. But hey, maybe I'll like it this time. Maybe uh, it's actually an underrated masterpiece and it's a technical marvel that I, everyone should go out and see. I'm sure of it. I'm sure I'm not gonna yeah. want to die. Press F to die. Trevor, doubt. you're really holding on to hope right now. Our goal for this commentary is to not let our viewers fall asleep. That's what we gotta do. We gotta keep the audience awake. I can't wait to try to edit around all your voices because Waffles is the only one who can't record a, his audio file separately right now. Okay, you see, it, it's easy. Just just to remove them from the commentary. It'll be easy. Sorry, Waffles, this is a pancake house. So, Waffles, are you even gonna be watching the movie? No, I'm just here to stay here. Fantastic. <laughs> I don't know what you thought that was going to accomplish. Of course, he was just going to join right back. Waffles changed the channel name. He changed the channel waffles. name. No. You guys can't kick me out now. What do you mean we can't kick you out? Watch me. <laughs> get wrecked. Let's just get started. Is everybody ready? Uh... Not at all, but we're going. Three, two, one, go. Oh my god, I forgot about this. Oh, you know it's gonna be good when you get the Disney logo. Oh, is this a new Disney logo again? No, it's specific for for this movie. They, they made like a 2 d fied version of this what fucking... What the fuck? The, 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 by the way, it looks awful. But it's for the the worst movie to have this. Yeah. S That's see, like... really uncanny too. Yeah, the one movie, yeah, like fuck 2D animation. <laughs> I think they also used this logo for uh, the, the remake of uh, Jungle Book though. Did they? I'm pretty sure. Yes. All right. So I guess just John Favreau. Hey, look at look at that guy. You see how how actually how, not ugly how, how it is. How much better it looks than every other shot in the film. Yeah. What if I told you that that's because this is the only live action shot? Wouldn't that be funny? Also, I, I just already I have something to say, which is that already the the op the first film had a much more impact. Yuck! Oh my Had eyes. a much more impactful opening with just opening yeah. with the sun rising and the first thing you hear is the music note instead of simmering on a shot of the horizon and then the sun rises. This is so you uncanny know? valley because you can you can tell that they're all animated. No, no, dude, this is totally live action. I have to watch this in 720p and I somehow think that the bit rate is even too low for, for 720p. So, like that, that shot of the mountain previously had a lot more colorful identity to it. Also, this singer, uh... And blinking. Waffles, you can't. You aren't even watching the movie. Shut up. I. I just... Waffles, I will eat you. Never. Num num. I don't. Uh, that, this shot still looks alright. Oh, okay, no. Not Trevor, 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 not Trevor, can you sing over this so we can have something decent to listen to? Okay. There's just no footsteps sound effects. 
Yeah. It already looks so much uglier. So uncanny, I can't. It, it looks like a tech demo. Was probably a tech this, demo. No, I that I. Yeah. This why, shot is so much worse. Why is why Zazu so small? In the original, it like takes us on a, a journey with Zazu. It's through his perspective that you're seeing the scene unfold, and it, it you're swooping through the valleys instead of just a static camera panning shot over there, and he's just Zazu's like a background detail. Also, there was no emotion in Mufasa's face when Zazu bowed in front of him. What are emotions? Mo emotions are unrealistic. Emotions? You have to be really lucky to have emotions in real life. Did this guy just change randomly? So, Trevor, where did you leave the bottle of bleach? My eyes are getting really thirsty. Also, right? this monkey looks very ugly in the face now. Yeah, we need It's kind of a nightmare fuel, to be honest. It's, it's not like it's implicitly impossible to make more realistic creatures have life in their animation, because Rocket Raccoon is a relatively realistic-looking raccoon, but he's still a character. Nobody in this movie looks like they actually care about anything. Also, this, that, what? <sighs> I hate that they have him sit here instead of actually- He's too lazy to stand. Well, apparently the reason why is because it- Unfortunately, the center of gravity uh, would not work in the way the anatomy is on our baboon friend Rafiki here. Now, in a drawing, it looks good, but whenever we pose Rafiki that way, it always looked fake. And physics is something that everybody's an expert in. Whether they realize it consciously or not, it feels wrong to them. Oh, sure. that's so fucking stupid. That's so stupid. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, they can't do that, but you know, we'll still have them sing. Yeah, we'll still have them sing, talk, and also do kung fu. Yeah, monkeys can't stand, but they can open up a fruit and then smear it on a line. Right, I'm I gonna be re get ready for some autotune right there. The it sounds so bad. Yeah, it's it almost sounds like they digitally extended it, which is what they did. And also, also the logo isn't red anymore. The red logo is. Yeah, and it's also on screen for longer. Uh, speaking of things that are on screen for longer, the entire movie because it's thirty extra goddamn minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but let's see, let's see what they do with that extra screen time. Remember the, the, this this mouse uh, this mouse here? Let's count the seconds. <laughs> we really yeah, do not need to be I following this mouse for this long. I can tell you what they're gonna do for the extra thirty minutes. They're gonna grab the knife and slowly stab out every. Every part of my eyeball. Just shink, 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 you know, just keep going for it. Uh, insert Ratatouille music here. We don't- why are we- why, 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 why? This why? sounds like some fucking cartoon music! Like, hey kids, can you find the good animation? This sounds like fucking stock music. Can we get- can we get on with it already, please? Why are we looking at a goddamn mouse? <laughs> play the- yeah. play the movie! End it. Some are born to feast, others spend their lives- You know what was- you know what else was a lot more impactful in the original? S seeing Scar's hand just slam down onto the screen, yeah. instead of having him slowly walk on. The king approaches! This is not a drill. Uh, oh. <laughs> this is not the drill. I am told I am the actual voice actor. I am John Oliver. I'm a funny guy. Would you believe me if I told you that I've seen people say this movie is actually funnier than the original? Mm. Well, I can believe that you that people yeah, say Yeah, yeah, like like the Mufasa staff is way funnier in the remake. No, but like specifically Zazu, Timon and Pumbaa. Uh, no. Yeah, we definitely needed to extend this battle of all things. Okay, so the reason this is longer is because every scene goes on for an additional 10 extra minutes. Sarabi and I oh. didn't see you at the presentation. This is literally just an MCU, MCU shot! Style. <laughs> yeah. da, 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 da. Steve, what, I introduced you, Steve, from Blue's Clues. <laughs> uh, coming through the Doctor Strange portal. What, uh, what's with the pauses? I was I need to stop. Talking to make it sound more dramatic. Well, wait, I mean, you gotta do something because his voice certainly isn't doing any, any wonders in that department. I am so intimidated. Is that a challenge? I wouldn't dream. Oh my god, <laughs> is that a challenge? <laughs> is that a challenge? When it comes to brute strength, I'm afraid my big brother will always rule. You, my brother, are so much stronger th than I am. Your nephew, my son Simba, will be a king one day. Remarkable how we didn't need any of this. <laughs> like, we could have cut out half that scene and it would have survived. We would have still been able to communicate the same amount of information. Oh wait, like the original. John Oliver is an amazing comedian. That joke was so funny. The thing is, I, I don't even follow any of John Oliver's stuff. I just know him from this movie and he sucks. Hello, my name is John Oliver. Waffles. Doing Waffles, why are you here exactly? You're as useless as these extra camera shots. You will not be in the thumbnail, I'm sorry. I can be the comic relief. You know, it'd be I much easier for you to be comic movie. relief if you weren't wrestling with Discord noise suppression. <laughs> so, uh, what's happening right now? What the? What? 
What the fuck? No. What are we doing right now? Because monkeys don't paint, but they do that. That they do. Yeah, no, no. Monkeys, yeah, no, monkeys don't paint, but they do magic. Yeah, but, like, they can control bugs to move where they want. Yeah, that makes yeah. much wait, more wait, sense. Did, and then, wait, he, and then he paints he, anyway, because he just... <laughs> didn't, he paint earlier, didn't, didn't he paint earlier, too, though? <laughs> yeah. He literally uh, painted on his forehead. What are we talking about? <laughs> oh, wait, but he's standing up! What are you... What yeah, the fuck is yeah. that? I swear, oh, I yeah. swear. Oh, yeah. Joy. They biologically cannot stand up. Two seconds later, oh! Magic stand! Oh. But we felt that he's standing up was a very mandatory visual, but not the one where he's lifting up. Him standing up is yeah. like his lightsaber. I you swear, know? John Favreau said that the reason he didn't do it in the original, in the opening scene, is because they biologically, anatomically can't stand. But then he does it yeah, anyway. He, so what's the yeah, goddamn he, he, point? He, he, yeah, I think I think John Favreau can't stand. He also says that lions can uh, sit the way that they do in the original, like when they're looking up the the horizon, the hills, and all that. But he still kept them sitting in that position because he thought it was an artistic shot or something like that. Oh, yeah, sure. But Rafiki lifting Simba up to the heavens. No, no, no. The whole scene where that's very integral to the theme where you wax him with a stick. It says, if it's in the past, you can't change it, but you can learn from it. That that it, it has to be cut because, you know, monkeys don't carry around sticks. Except for the fight scene. He had to... Because it's like his lightsaber. Stick. Also, off topic, but this all the music in this movie so far sounds like stock royalty-free music. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there music in this movie? I, I wasn't... I didn't notice. Really? Because it, it, it's it's non-stop. It's stretching the definition. Why is he blowing? Just roar at the sun. Look, Simba. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. You rule all of that? Yes. I can't... Yes. I can't believe that's James <laughs> Earl Jones. Yes. <laughs> Yes, 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 son. We do own everything that you can see in the horizon. We own all of it. Oh. I'm an old man. Because <laughs> I'm going to die soon. I'm very old, actually. You deliberately disobeyed me. Like, he, he legit sounds like an old guy who, who like, rolled out of bed and they, they dragged into the office for a recording session. They probably... I mean, no, you know why he sounds like that, Trevor? He sounds like that because he is an old guy who rolled out of bed and <laughs> he got forced to fucking record. That's what he is. He's an old guy guy who John Favreau went to his house. Hey, can you record this? Oh, yeah, I can totally record this for you really quick. Simba! Also, what is he talking about right now? You just don't make... Not everyone maintains their voice as they get older. It's fine. It's yeah. okay. His, you don't need... His voice box... Yeah, and they say and they say that James Earl Jones' voice box shrunk three sizes that day. And, and you mentioned earlier that Jeremy Irons can still do the voice. So why... Did you get? I don't. I don't. Know. Like, what is they, the logic they, they, behind they, John Favreau's brain? They must have brain. had an agenda against Scar. They must have. But what, like, what? Why? I don't. I don't know. But like, <laughs> they just hate Jeremy Irons. You could argue that Scar's performance is better than Mufasa's, which isn't to say Mufasa's yes. is bad because they're all amazing. But like, why specifically? I don't get it. Oh, that's nah. You have the morning report. Yes, sir. No, not the morning report. If a bike and a scooter would have become, become alive, who would, which one would win in a fight? I don't fucking care. There's the no fuck? bikes or scooters. Get out of this car. <laughs> John Oliver literally admitted that the only voices he could do is himself and himself in a different tone. I guess this time uh, Mufasa wasn't didn't warn him. So not warn him. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for eating him. I uh, thank God. Please swallow him so we don't need to hear him ever again. Digest this fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sire, hyenas in the Pride Lands. They're on the hunt. Wait, wait, you, wait, wait, you, how, wait what, how did you? <laughs> Even if Simba were to eat him, he'd still be making jokes in his gullet. In, in the original, it was a, it was a gopher that popped out to give him a report. Did he just like see hyenas when he was flying? I guess so. Yeah, what I think happened is that he flew away when Simba attacked him, and then saw the hyenas, which is very, very lucky. I feel like you didn't get that far away. No, no, no I, I, I completely agree, but that's the only reason I can think of. Don't play with the other cups. This, we, I feel like we didn't need this scene. You could just had him walk up to the cubs. Okay, that one guy, the one cub sleeping on that tree there, that's me right now. <laughs> <laughs> just, just go to the, oh, uh, go the screen time, screen time. Why? Screen yeah. time. Why are we looking at a fucking bug? What I... is this fucking run time? You see, he's gonna try to catch it, even though that he already. Why is this like, necessary? He just had a pouncing lesson, 
But you see, he's gonna try to pounce the the, the like that lizard. Yeah, we the... don't need the scene where he hits him with the stick, and then that actually makes the whole movie work. No, but we do need the scene where he's going after some random ass bug. You know what? I'll, I'll let the scene play out. Oh wait, does he stumble into Scar? When does, does the bug lead him to Scar? The, the, oh my god! If the bug leads him to Scar, I'm going to eat this fucking bug. If you wish to kill something, what is oh, happening? Oh fuck off! Oh. I swear to God, on. are you are you fucking? Come on, man! No, no, you see, you see, if Rafiki can control the box, Scar can control the box. He, 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 Scar, he, I swear, yeah. this movie, it's like Big Hero 6 nanotech technology. We're not even 20 <laughs> minutes into the movie and I already want to blow my brains Stupid out. Stupid bug! I like that voice crack. Think about it. Toy from Toy Story. What? Waffles. Why are you here? Why is the dialogue so clunky? Just use the original... He said I can't go there. Ever. And he's absolutely right an elephant graveyard is no place for a young prince an elephant graveyard whoa oh dear, i've said too much an elephant graveyard whoa so, uh, what the frick oh, is no. the voice acting here whoa an elephant graveyard whoa like what the scar is just so obviously yeah he's just so fucking evil <laughs> Yeah, he, he sound. He, I mean, and he doesn't sound also. evil. He sounds like he sounds like a guy trying to be evil. In the original, it was like, oh, "What's over there? Oh, an elephant graveyard." It's like he pretends he slipped up, and here he's like, "An elephant graveyard is no place for someone like, like you to be." There's a really great oh. balance they strike between con conveying him in a way that the audience can clearly tell, "Ah, so this is our villain." But but he, the way he conducts himself is in a way that Simba could reasonably think that, hey, he's my uncle, we're friends, we're f or we're family. He literally looks like he wants to kill S Simba in every, like, in every moment. <laughs> every scene. Yeah, he literally, you can see the bloodlust in his eyes. Oh, that looks good. That, that, oh. Very Oh yeah, we needed guys. this in HD. I guess we needed an extended bath. Everything needs to be extended. There's no hyenas. You just chased them all. That that was like a bit, just a little bit of emotion. How how did that go in? How... <laughs> it must have been a mistake. <laughs> yeah, yeah it went through it went through the D the Disney AI detection technology. We'll be going with you. Zazu. Zazu go. Zazu. Do he means yeah? Do he mean Zazu? And the only one who says Zazu correctly is the one who has been associated with Disney before. Yeah. Well, in the Netherlands, we would also pronounce it differently, but yeah. I've seen some people argue that Zazu in this movie is annoying to the characters, but funny for the audience. Whereas in the original, he's annoying to everybody. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they didn't confuse the characters because I'm very annoyed by his existence. They're confusing. They're confusing the 2019 version with the 94 version. I don't know how that's possible, but whatever. That's no. Also, I, can I? I need to mention again just how shit this voice acting is. Uh, we have an imminent threat. Something is approaching. Oh wait, scratch that. That's my own shadow. Oh, not this. Are you able to easily discern the difference between Simba and Nala here? Uh, their voice, and that's about Ooh. it. Yes, I can by skin color. But like only when during the the the, the song number with all the animals. Good luck. I will to see. Out yeah, I will. I will. I will try. That, 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 that's actually a good challenge. But I think I will be able to because the, their skin color is different enough. It is different, but it's not anywhere near to the same extent that. Yeah. Oh no no no! Absolutely not. And their eye color also works. I honestly can't even see their eye color. Attitude like that, I'm afraid you'll be a pretty pathetic king. Okay, every song that's played so far sounds like royalty-free fucking kids music. Hey kids, can kids you find bop. a good movie? Fucking kids bop like <laughs> Simba, you can't escape your destiny. That's a way to be like subtlety, what is that? Simba, you can't escape your density, Simba. Oh my god, not the density again. God, it's just Oh the auto oh, I'm gonna yeah. be the auto tune! Yeah, no, now 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 it's just impossible. This is not a character. This is a singer. This is not a character. Which is fine if you want to make an album cover, but in a movie, I'm supposed to. You're supposed to be a character, not a. Uh. What's this thing? He was like, I just can't wait to be king. Like, what the f was that? Uh. You know, I feel I feel like you could put different music here, and suddenly it comes all it becomes a lot more dramatic. Yeah, yeah. The scene. Just, just just put the the stampede music. Yeah. Kings don't need advice from- I think it's about time I throw you into a blender and make bird soup. I had to do a double take there. I thought for a second that Nala's voice is coming out of Simba and I'm not even joking. I- <laughs> <laughs> There's not been a single good line of voice acting in this entire movie so far. John Oliver isn't even trying to be on, on tune with the music. 
It's just not. I don't think he even played the. Okay, the what's this singing? Music. Why is he like? Why is he like? I just can't wait to be king. Like what the fuck? I can't see you, Simba. You must be my sight at all times. I'm... How? I know what you're doing. <laughs> Where are you going, Simba? You can't hide from me, Simba. It is my sworn duty to keep you. You. He never shuts up. Like I want to throw a piece of duct tape on his mouth. Just. This Tie him to a tree, you know? He just keeps blabbering on and on and on. I feel like squeezing around his little neck and then just like putting him into a blender. Stand, uh, standing in the spotlight. It's just a, just a fucking normal light. Also, they, they didn't look left or right there. They just ran. It was just half a circle. I can't. They don't look like they're singing. Yeah, they're just like opening their mouth. They look like fucking RPG characters when they're what? in the middle Ugh. of talking. Oh, oh. What? Very bad. What is the goddamn point of making a hyper-realistic Lion King movie? What do you gain? What? What? That is the question that they should have asked. What do you gain by telling the story in this format? Trevor, Trevor, you know what you gain? Money! That's what you gain. Of course, you, you gain $1.6 billion. Somehow. How how did did I miss it? How did they lose Zazu this time? I guess the birds the freaking bird tornado. Yeah, Trevor, what happened was Zazu talked so much that his voice box literally exploded. I love how the one thing they don't drag out is the one thing they should have, which is showing how Zazu how they lost him. Because they Yeah. The original they show the giant animal pile that gets disbanded and it collapses on top yeah. of him. But here it, it we just cut from everyone dancing together to they are suddenly very far away somehow. I don't Well he he came into that stupid bird tornado thing. Bad that's, that's not the same as the pinning in the original movie. The sky is still blue, so it's not intimidating in the sky. I was gonna say, it's amazing how this looks exactly the same as everything else, basically. Oh, yeah, yeah. These are the shadowy places, right? It's just yeah. some random stone dildos. That looks a lot more intimidating than the main skull that they found in the, in the original. Just some dead trees and rocks. And I guess some muds. It means we can go home. It means they won't treat us like cups anymore. Uh-huh. Alright. Also, they changed Nala's character from Ooh, I'm also excited and I want to explore things with you too. Uh, actually, we shouldn't be here. Let's leave. That's who I remember Nala being. Okay, that sounded like Home Alone music right there. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, did Thank you for reminding me of good music. It's the only way you can get through stuff like this. It's just <laughs> you're you're right. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a way to cope. Uh, yeah, cope with this fucking. Uh. I will I will rewatch the late the new Layton trailer five fifteen times after we're done here. Danger! Ha! I laugh in the face of danger. Ha ha ha! Ah! <laughs> cool. It echoes. Let's spend five minutes learning that it echoes. That's a good use Sorry, of Sorry, I had to cackle uncontrollably because they, they showed him laughing and it looked awful. His, his mouth just <laughs> yeah, flapped up and down like a puppet. Ha, ha, oh, ha. what the fuck is that? Also, didn't they change it from Nala laughing to him laughing or was that... No, 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 it, it, was, it, it was him. But the hyenas appeared right after he laughed. This, but this time we had to extend the time code a bit. I also like how they ran into the dead end instead of away. We weren't expecting guests today. Would you two come? Oh, the voice acting is so bad. God, that looks horrible. They- oh, Yeah. Oh. What the fuck is on my screen? They, they look hideous. Jeez, dude, that's like my sleep paralysis demon right there. <laughs> Welcome to Bird Up, the worst show on television. <laughs> ah, see, this is the main hyena that we needed to build up. Wait, why are there five of them instead of three? Yeah, what? No, uh, this gonna be. Boring. They've multiplied. Oh wait, no, it's even more than that. This, why? Why are there fifteen different sleep paralysis hyenas? <laughs> Stop, stop, don't make them laugh. It doesn't look good. Also, I guess Sazu really can't get away from the fucking birds. This could be a Five Nights at Freddy's jump scare. That's insulting to Five Nights at Freddy's jump scares. But if you do this, you will start a war with Mufasa. Mufasa's bloodline will end here! Um, no? Okay. Press X to doubt on the bird having- God, thank God there's <laughs> just a convenient hole right there. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I've lost track of what's happening. I don't know what- I don't know yeah, where- he did not open that he did not open the mouth. The good thing there's just a bunch- there's just a bunch of convenient tunnels everywhere. You know, the chase was a lot simpler in the original, and easier to follow. Also, there were a lot less hyenas in the original. Do it again! <laughs> Did really none of you 
No. How is it that loud when he's all the way over there? What? He still surprised them somewhat. Also, okay. it was only three of them. Way too much happened here. To also, where the hell did he come from? Problem one. In the original movie, there were far less hyenas, and yet they were far more intimidating, and it felt like there was a lot more stakes because there was a more personal battles that you could follow more easily. Second problem. The reason why the hyenas were caught off guard is because Mufasa's surprise dropped in on them. Here, he just, like, walks up behind them. Teleports behind you. Hey, yo. <laughs> there was a solid three or four second period of time where none of the hyenas did anything. Also, I, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Mufasa just looked at Stimo right there, and I actually thought he was smiling, but no, he, he's supposed to be very pissed right now. That's how much they fucked up the expressions here. They have no expression. In the original, they were sad. <laughs> Clearly see by their oh, face that they were the, sad. The, here, they're just the like name Minecraft Steve. Now has a name, apparently. Well, she had a name in the original, too. They had a name, but they're very much emphasizing her as the leader of the pack. Problem three is just the animation is crap, and no one looks alive, and you can't tell what they're... It's just awful across the board. Problem four is that that Mufasa was able to beat them in the original because there was a surprise attack and because there were only three hyenas. There were like a million of them there. And a million of those hyenas kill Scar at the end of the movie. Hey, remember your stories from when you were young? We're definitely making a movie about this. Yeah, we're, don't ignore the fact that we're setting up a prequel. And then the final problem, the hyenas just let him go instead of Mufasa like scaring them off. Wow, that was actually a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. yeah, also, I, I like this part here. Check this out. Uh -huh. He just notices the paw print here. I feel like that was a lot more dramatic in the original when it was a bigger. It's like he stumbled into it. He noticed how much bigger his dad he, is. He noticed that there was a difference in the drop distance between his paw and the, yeah, and the, the ground. Yeah, the level of elevation changed. And this one is like, hey, look, it's my dad's paw. I guess I'll put my paw as well. I really thought this was just going to be a boring nothing fest. That was considerably worse than I remembered it being. I thought I might lose you. Oh, I'm so sad right now. Wait, with other animated movies, if you cut out the voice lines and replace it all with stuff like, Buzz, I can't do this without you. I need your help. It would sound wrong. Here, if I just replaced it with, I thought I might lose you, Simba. It would sound perfectly fine because their faces would completely match the tone at which I'm speaking. Jeez, wow, don't you see such chemistry over here? Wow, what chemistry? Wow. Um, did the sun just pull in Halo Infinite and suddenly shift from day to nighttime in half a second? <laughs> <laughs> what is this, Blue's Big City it's, it's Adventure? What I'm saying. It'd make a lot more sense if, the, if they made the, the scene at the shadowy place uh, during nighttime. But, but they probably didn't because you couldn't see shit. Hey, <laughs> what if you let me actually look at the stars with that really cool wide shot from the original instead of like the pocket at the top right corner oh and then you cut away from the stars great thanks amazing <laughs> look at the star <laughs> why would they show this the sky after all the sky because it's not it's not realistic for there to be stars in the sky because of all the all the light pollution it's not like we're talking about it as well i guess the whole point of the scene is looking up at the stars in the sky this is terrible yeah <laughs> oh as no. you notice oh no 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 uh -oh. No, uh -oh. nor, 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 nor. Oh. Uh, the sleep paralysis demons are back again. Please give me some space. What? You could lay anywhere in this cave. Where do you want me? I need some personal space. Okay. Okay. Well, that was very funny. Hilarious. This movie is so much funnier than the original. Yeah, I love how they're spending like two minutes on shitty ass jokes that only soccer moms in the audience are gonna laugh at. Oh yeah, and they don't know that Scar exists apparently. Oh yeah, they don't know each other, but in the original they did know each other. You fools have stripped your land of every living thing, and yet I send two little cubs your way, and they come back alive. Every voice actor sounds like they're half asleep recording their lines. I wish I was half asleep and I could have missed this terrible movie. I don't understand why they changed it so that Scar isn't already working with the hyenas. I don't- I have no idea, actually. I, I think it's because, it's because they wanted the, hy the hyena to be uh, the strong and independent leader. I because, guess. Trevor, it needs to be different from the original somehow. But, like, you don't- gain any I, I, I don't you don't I, you're right you gained a check mark I, I do you i feel like I, I, was there anybody complaining that shenzi wasn't strong enough on her own in the first movie she kind of whoops well the chart says oh by the way i genuinely didn't realize that this was pre-prepared i was like i was waiting yeah. for the music to start and then when he started mildly inflecting his voice to sound musical i was like oh my god we're like halfway through the song is what are we doing regime whose failings undoubtedly presage the knee. I was actually stunned that <laughs> this was what they were doing. I, th I think this is the moment when I realized, oh wait, this is this is be prepared. This is what we're getting. Hyenas must do. They're really stretching the Very definition of music not, here. Not awkward in the slides. Yeah, they definitely just chucked this in half haphazardly. Yeah, for the murkiest sky. God. 
meticulous planning. Uh, oh my, my God. poor ears. The cage of denial is simply why I'll be king. Please say, prepare for the murkiest scam when you're trying to convince them to let them be your leader. Yeah, it's almost like the lyrics don't work when you change the story for no reason at all. Maybe that's why they cut it? Yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna have to uh, leave for a little bit to clean the blood off my headphones. This is so bad. How do you- Be prepared for a disaster. How do you fuck up? Be prepared. How do you even do that? It's- Like, I don't know how you- I don't know how you could even purposely do that. It's honestly not even worth comparing. It's not even worth comparing. They're not even it's on not the- It's not the same song. They're not within five tiers of each other. Trevor, because one of them is actually music. Oh my god, they, they actually <laughs> tried to imitate the shot so in the musical cue. The thing is, I can't even like pretend to be shocked at that because that's exactly as bad as I remember it being. That was the one yeah. thing that I distinctly remember being like, what did you, what did you do to this song? You Look did not even try. My boy. You actually oh, yes, didn't try. Yes, all the antelopes make sense that they're here when there's fucking barely anything to eat. <laughs> That makes sense. Let's make everything fucking rock. <laughs> I thought that the all the the grass and all that disappearing was was for after Scar took over. Oh, not, not we're before. only thirty seven minutes in. <laughs> There's an hour and twenty minutes left. What? I'm gonna sound like I'm just repeating what a YMS has said, but like I don't care. It's it's still extremely valid. It's like convincing Simba to. To just work on his roar because I guess the, the remake people thought that that was a crucial part of the plan to have Simba roar and not just something he he had Simba do to keep him busy for a bit. Well, if the whole plan is to make Simba think it's his fault, then it, it makes him think he caused the he pissed off the the the, the wildebeest and like the sound reverberating through the through the valley. But like the plan was to also kill him. Kill him, yeah. Exactly. So there would be no reason. But why are we okay, why are we spending so much time looking at random bugs? Because and shit? visuals, tech demo. However, it would fall in line that Scar wanted to make sure all those loose ends were tied up. So in case something went wrong, there would be plausible deniability. That's true. So I'm fine with them making an extra emphasis on that. However, I think it, it works a lot better in the original when it's a more subtle things like maybe want to work on your roar exactly. instead of being like, "Hey, have you considered roaring? Roar." Roar, bitch! <laughs> it's, it sounds like, again, why would you trust Scar? Also, oh, I guess the Oh, that, Scar. that's the replacement for the, the, for the song, or for the shot, huh, where it zooms in on his face. Also, the music is somehow worse. This is what happens when you invite Pharrell Williams. It gives me Toy Story 4 vibes of, like, you took the same composition and you completely butcher the instrumentation and implementation. Look at all the not grass. There's a lot of not grass real estate going it, on. It doesn't feel like as urgent. Yeah. There's like a I, bunch of, there's a good amount of dust, I guess. I genuinely don't feel, in, like, this doesn't feel intense at all because... Yeah, Trevor, Trevor, you could put the I Can't Wait To Be King song over this and it would look exactly like that did. Oh, this shit. This shit. Oh, this. Simba? 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 That I didn't even remember when I watched the movie for the first time, but when I made my worst movies video and I was scrolling through footage, I just found that accidentally and I was like, wow, that's fucking hilarious. That's going in the video. Hey, hey remember remember when the, the music was tied to the visuals, like, extremely well? Not this. Everything about the the music, the editing, and the cinematography all works to make- Even though it's the same general event happening, it feels way less urgent because of the way it's framed and presented. Here they're more worried about doing a graphical showcase. Especially because the Wildebeest don't even look like they're running that fast, they're just like prancing along. I'll help them, Zazu. You get the pride. Go. Why? Why would- why, why would you do that? Why would you do that? That doesn't make any sense. That only incriminates you when Mufasa dies, dumbass. Yeah, what were you saying about tying all up? He, ju he just told Zazu to go uh, warn the others, which sounds like a very fucking stupid thing to say. Well, in, so in the in the original is what I was referring to, with his plan to keep him rowing doubles yeah. up as distracting him, and also in case something goes wrong, it it's plausible deniability for what led to this whole thing in the first place. But here, I'm, oh, oh, okay. Not only, not only does Mufasa sound like an old man, but he acts like one too. <laughs> like he just guy fucking taking ten. Maybe he needed fucking the walking stick from the monkey. Who knows? It doesn't feel like there. Feels like it has so much space to go around. I don't. Know. It, it's actually crazy yeah, how no. little I feel right now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was genuinely on the edge of my seat when I watched this. When I watched the original today even though I knew what was gonna happen. Also, the rock formation is completely different, so he, do, he, he doesn't even need, this is, this is just like a lad, the 2019, he doesn't even need Scar's help, he can just climb. 
Just because you you see a lot of rocks falling doesn't mean that it's unstable. Oh, it sure is. I I I I've, believe it or not, I've been in a similar situation before, and I was actually scared to fall to my death. Yes, but you don't, you know, claws and all that. You just climb. What, what prevents you from like right climbing here, more right now? Help me! Help, Help me! me. It's like just just Help climb up. up here, so Mufasa wasn't even this close to the edge. Like he he was still just. Trying to climb. Live the king. God, what a pathetic vo voice delivery. YouTube thumbnails, if you like. My only weakness, <laughs> dying. No! My only weakness, meowing. <laughs> 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 Hey, Mr. John Favreau, we should not be laughing at this scene. That shouldn't be a thing. Brooke said it best. It, it just sounds like he's meowing at the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> should I get my cat? He can actually do a better interpretation, better execution of this. Yeah, no, they actually just brought a cat into the recording studio on the mic. And also, the zoom out is much more jarring because they didn't... First of all, it doesn't open with him zooming out. It, like, it pauses on his face and then pulls back. Also, there's no pay payoff with zooming in to Mufasa versus zooming out of Simba. So it doesn't work. None of this works. None of it. It's all shit. Also, I love how the subtitles say crying, but he is clearly not crying. <laughs> Trevor, you know you fucked up when the death scene is funnier than the actual intention. <laughs> than the, the comedic <laughs> relief. He just looks like he's asleep. You know, like an old man. <laughs> I, I... It's way past my curfew, son. It's way past Let my bedtime, sleep. Simba. He tried to save me. It was an accident. He tried to save me. Oh, God. I think Hootie's voice acting is more fucking emotional than this. Hoot, hoot! I didn't mean for it to happen, hoot, hoot! Imagine instead of meowing at the fridge when Infasa dies, it's just, hoot, hoot! hoot! No! Hoot, hoot! Hoot! I'm so sad right now, hoot. I'm so God, this movie is so bad and we're not even halfway. I did not put this high enough on the worst movies of all time we list. We have <laughs> over an hour left of fucking cat meowing. Oh god, no. How are we not all, we're not even close to halfway through? There is an hour and 11 minutes and 53 seconds oh my left. God. Never. Return. What this how far into the movie was this? Wasn't this scene like not even 30 minutes into the original movie I, this happened? I honestly don't know. We, we have almost the entire f full length of the movie, of the first, of the original movie left to go. Literally. Like, why did, why did we de decide to do this? Trevor, why did you come through my window with a handcuff and then tear me to my chair and say, hey, we're watching Lion King 2019. I, I feel like this one wasn't my- I feel like this wasn't one of the ones I suggested we do today. Or in the I, first place at all. I don't- who would ever suggest doing this? Hey, movie? you know- you know something? The red hue of the original works a lot better than this. Oh, well th this is an improvement. They actually stop in time. Just a random dream. My first, my first praise for this movie, they actually stop in time and stop, don't have a stupid comic relief scene. Uh... Seriously? Oh, I'm sorry. I think this, they're still. Oh, never mind. No, there is still, it still works as dumb comic relief. They're, they're still trying to. They're still trying to be funny. Oh, movie, please! I, I try to give you praise. Oh, so that for doesn't once. look that bad to go across. I guess they're just, they're just lazy. They they could easily chase them if they wanted to. This the, the spike feel was a major problem that prevented them from chasing after Simba in the original. But there's no such thing here. It's just like nothing. They just don't care. That's... Oh, and he let. Wait, how did? Uh, oh, thank God for the convenient tree oh, branch wait, oh, and randomly- Oh, no, no, you see, they thought he died, like, falling. Is that what they meant? The okay, Yeah, sure. that's I'm pretty sure they think is the case. Oh, uh, instead of being like, if he ever comes back here, we'll kill him, they're like, uh, oh, works for me. We say, we say that we check downstairs and he's dead. That's what they said. So I, I just checked the original movie, 36 minutes in and Mufasa dies. Oh my god, yeah, movie Yeah, like what? 15 minutes of the 45 have been used up, I guess. Yeah, the 15 minutes has been spent to random bug shots. Yeah, it's it was only very useful. It, it, like, they really didn't know how to use that time code. There's probably like 5 minutes worth of bug scenes. There's Man. like 5 minutes of that opening fucking rat. <laughs> I, I feel like I really... Ne this has given me a greater appreciation for the lighting of the original movie, because... Yes. And everything else of the original movie. Everything looks the same. It's so stupid. Yeah, yeah. Good luck trying to do the first shit the lioness is here. Also, this just... The shot just looks very dull. 
Like, what's, Every what's this lining? The the, what is the thing? That's just the thing. There's no lighting. When, when I call attention to stuff like the Gabby Gabby scene in Toy Story 4, the problem with the lighting there is because what the script is communicating is at odds with the pretty lighting because it's trying to emotionally manipulate you into feeling sad for her. But lighting is a very crucial element that makes so many of the most important emotional scenes across cinema history work. This is the same problem in reverse, where the lighting is way too bright and way too optimistic. For both this scene, the scene where Simba fell off the cliff, and the Mufasa death scene, it's all way way too bright and way too washed out for it to have any sort of stylistic presence and identity color-wise. Yeah, every sky just is baby blue or gray. You gotta be really lucky to have an interesting... I lighting. guess... I, I guess they got what they deserved. Hey, Zazu. Since you flew away, what is that... What, what was Zazu doing, exactly? Uh, John Oliver. Supposedly, after all these years, he, he he's gonna eventually tell them what, what happened, right? They actually filmed this and Aladdin at the same time in the same location. Yeah, we really needed this shot of him just walking across the desert. For 10 minutes. How did how did this get a 6.8 out of 10 on IMDb? It's a 6 point- no. Why does it have a, a 6.8? It has almost a 7 out of 10. Why? How? I have no idea. This is build up to didn't have the payoff of older Simba running back. See? See, it's not- Yeah, because, not because Trevor, they, they all, half the people who voted thought it was the 94 version. Oh my god, the new- the, the, the new Mufasa movie is next year, no. Oh, are you excited, Trevor? And then the <laughs> no, Aladdin wait, that's gonna movie? happen? Yeah. Uh, and then Aladdin oh. 2. Shut up. I just said that. I want death. And then the Little Mermaid, and then they'll do everything else. It's like film the fucking nothing. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, dear lord. <laughs> it's not even centered properly, come on. What is that voice acting? <laughs> it's Seth Rogen, what did you expect? <laughs> God, look, it's Donkey Kong, guys. God, I, I remember, like, actually having to restrain the urge to vomit when Pumbaa was revealed. <laughs> he looks. Yeah, like the, all the popcorn that you saw on the floor of the theater, that was Trevor. All right, let me see what we're dealing with here. That's not a lion, that's a CGI abomination. He, he's, like, actually repulsive to look at. Okay, so you also made those what two What the dumb. fuck is that? He looks way worse than Will Smith's genie CGI. <laughs> <laughs> One day, when he's big and strong, he'll be on our side. I've got it. What if he's on our side? Hear me? One day when he's big and strong, I hope he eradicates you out of existence. Well then, can we keep him? Yes, of course we can keep him! Well, My God! We're gonna name him Fred! You are not Nathan Lane. Stop trying. This is Timon. Did I mention that we saved your life? Think of everything in this movie, this might piss me off the most, is how Timon and Pumbaa are. Like, it seems like they're trying too hard. And Timon and Pumbaa's dynamic in the original was just perfection. <laughs> The f was someone just died over at Gugano's oh, place. Oh god. Trevor, I think we've already had our first casualty from this movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, my brother's very loud. Ugh. Your brother saw Pumba on the screen and screamed. No, no, <laughs> like, yes, what he, is he that? saw Simba going through the like the sand they ask what I was watching. And like, you've seen this movie, so the fact that you don't remember really tells everything <laughs> about it. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, like, it does that doesn't surprise me. What a wonderful phrase! Akuna Matata. This is singing, guys. What? What is singing? I I am singing. You don't deserve this melody. Please end my suffering. It's also extended for some reason. I was a young wart. That's sure is singing. This is my ears are bleeding. So. You know, they didn't need to play the sound effect in the original. This is not singing at all. This is talking with style. There is no style to be found here. Not at all. I meant I farted. Are you gonna stop me? No, I'm not. You disgust me. Cringe. That's all Cringe. that was. That just... It's awful. Also, it only works if you've seen the original. I know, I know that everyone has seen the original, but like, this doesn't, that doesn't stand on its own, so... I'm sure all the kids around the world laugh their asses off at such hilarious comedy. Trevor, at your movie theater, was there even a single chuckle after that? I don't think there was even a single child in the theater. There wasn't even a sneeze. And honestly, I'm pretty I, I, sure... I don't, get, I don't get what people say when, this, when they're like, Oh, this is so technically impressive, it looks so realistic. It looks it like doesn't. shit. This, this looks terrible. It really does. Like, maybe this shot doesn't look that bad. Like, most of the shots uh, look shit. I don't know. I Comparing that to the original and how beautiful and... Sure, but, like, even in terms of being photorealistic... This looks uh, like a stuffed animal. That fucking animal there looked like a fucking plushie. An antelope? Uh-oh. By the way, I'm pretty sure the only people to laugh in the theater were my parents. Oh, God, that must have been embarrassing for you. Perfect! 
Also, uh, since they're not the only animals, I guess, uh, I, I guess Nala is gonna go come here, uh, hunt a lot of the, the animals, and then leave without meeting Simba. Unless they all die by the time Simba is an adult. Ooh, a little cream filled kind. I love these. Those are good. I love Those these. are the best. You know, this doesn't quite work as well when it's not a cartoon. It looks... And also when there's a million other animals. Yeah, I don't know why they thought they needed to have anybody other than Simba, because the whole point is supposed to be outcasts, like living just yep. by themselves. Why did you feel the need to shove everyone else? Oh, this, this off, I... <laughs> oh no, I don't want to know. This is going to look like some Animorphs type they of They don't shit. look like they're dancing or singing at all. Because they aren't dancing or singing at all. They remember when they swung? They swung their head back and forth in the original. Here they're just like... It doesn't look like a, a movie from like 2005. Looks like fucking dinosaur. The whole idea is that we're having a fun time walking across the log by swaying back and forth, but here they're just... Yeah, and, and even in terms of uh, cinematography, like the, the background changes, like while they're moving it, but no, it's just completely different shots, they fade in and out. Like, it's not even the same position of the camera. Hate it. It's once again just um, singing and just going forwards. That's how every musical number here. I believe I'm wanting more. Yeah, you've grown 400 pounds since we started. Meanwhile, I look exactly the same. It means no worry. Oh, yeah, see, the the best way to Meta. do musical numbers is to be self aware about the fact that you were singing for 30 years or whatever. See, we said that as a joke outside the movie, but the characters in the movie are aware of it. You know, there are some times and places where it's alright to be self aware. This is not one of them. Also, I've not laughed at any. Also, it, it, make, it makes more sense for a child to age faster than like what I assume to be adults. Yeah, because like they're supposed to be adults canonically, right? Like, just yeah. Or like, like I think in Lion King one and a half, Timon was maybe maybe like around adult age. He was getting ready yeah. to leave the hunt, leave his place forever, and Pumbaa is around that as well. So by this point, I say about early twenties or like the, the equivalent to human. Early 20s. Breaking news, we have officially passed the one hour mark. How have oh. we? We've only just made it to that point, huh? Also, look, we're now we're getting new stuff. Damn, uh, hey, hey, who's Sarabi here? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. I have no that, idea. That's a great pop who's quiz. Who's Sarabi and, and who's Nala? I'm sorry, Nala. I came as soon as I could. Oh, I guess that's Nala. Oh, so, hey, how about you tell them? How are you about to tell them the fucking thing? The bird's back! Get him! <laughs> I mean, you can just fly away. Oh, and I guess they're also building up this rivalry between Nala and Shenzi for some reason. Are they? Uh, also, is that Nala or is that some... I don't... Well, I, I think that's what they were doing, is they, they focused on her and then they focused on Nala. It's like... And I, I seem to remember Nala getting a one-on-one -on -one with Shenzi in the final battle. Why are we only an hour in? I want it to stop. Yeah, there's like 56 minutes left. I want it to end. The king wishes to see you. I'm not afraid of him. I have no idea what we're even doing. Wasting my, the correct answer is wasting time. Any other answer is the is incorrect. Yeah, like why are we wasting time when we could have a third bug scene? Long ago, you chose Mufasa over me. Oh fucking this! I why they added a backstory where like Scar's jealous because Sarabi chose Mufasa over him. What is the plot? Does that add runtime? <laughs> it, it, it's nothing. It's just, I hope they at least do something to make it so that specifically Nala leaves the land and no one else, so that there's an explanation why specifically she shows up because that's the only that's one of the weak points of the first of the original movie. But I doubt that will happen. So. There's two different reasons why I wouldn't say that. One being that not every hunt, uh, lion is going to go to the same location for hunting. True, but... Two being that Nala was already clearly far more adventurous than the other lions that we saw. Yeah, but they changed her character here also. And also, I guess, with, with Zazu, because Zazu is saying that there are no animals, I guess they don't want to... Want, want to even go hunt? You know what? I guess you're actually right. They did make it worse this time because they at the elephant graveyard, Nala was like, "Hey, what are we doing in this adventure? We need to stop and go home. This is too risky." Yeah, that's why. Yeah, you see, it's I guess a character arc. Oh, that's really? That's not a character arc. That's a character when, change. But, but when did that happen? They are tr they are indeed trying to correct the contrivance. By adding a lot of more shit. Yeah, they're basically prohibiting the lionesses from leaving at all. Problem wasn't that Nala fa like, only Nala found them, it was that Nala bumped into specifically them. Yeah, like, that's still gonna happen. So, like, what's the point? Why, like, why? I don't, I don't- Scream time! So there was a yeah, Trevor. Trevor, I warned you to stop questioning the brain of John Favreau. One of the strongest parts of The Lion King is its immaculate pacing. There's no wasted screen time. None. Absolutely none. Where the hell none. did you come from? <laughs> <laughs> Tell
teleports, literally teleports you like behind up you. up there, I guess. Uh, each jump down with no uh, Security sound breach moments. indicating such. Hey! Little guy. As she overhears it and therefore leaves. Wait, where did... Where? Where? Alright, all right, please show where she Why? went. Why? How? What? Okay. I... So the hyenas came from behind her, but I guess sure. they didn't see her... Uh, I'll, I'll whatever, whatever. I'm, 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 sl I'm slowly Wait, losing is my. Is gonna climb now? She won't be there. Yeah, very slowly climbing. Yeah, slowly climbing. That's like the boy. slowest climb. And he's just sitting there. What is this? A Why? I don't what care. What is happening? What is happening in the movie right now? Please kill Zazu. At least get one good scene in this movie. Oh, just end me. Not funny. <laughs> Didn't laugh. I'm gradually losing my desire to. Give a shit about what's going on. I'm, I'm running out of I'm running out of endurance with this movie. We're like each other's life support right now. Oh, yeah. Simba jump! Wait, what? What the okay. fuck was that jump scare? Simba jump scare, I guess. Oh, he was trying to get the the butterflies. The butterfly. More butterf uh, more bugs, yeah. Lion, you know the the other kind of lion. Uh, you know, a real lion. I mean, not to turn out a real lion, but you know the kind that eats. I'm gonna go. I the screen time. <laughs> I don't, I don't get this it. This is so hilarious, guys. One hour and seven minutes. What? <laughs> we have 51 minutes left. No! <laughs> I want it to stop. I, don't, I can't. There's I 51 minutes I left on my screen. I don't want to watch this anymore. Hey, hey if, if you see like some guitar sounds in the background, it's because I'm playing a good game. <laughs> you all should be playing. It's a meaningless line of indifference. And we're all just running toward the end of the line. They will reach the end and that'll be it. What the fuck are, are they even talking about? They basically, basically they're saying that life isn't a circle, it's a line. Oh, because circle of life, okay. That's where I draw the line. Life is meaningless. Yes. That's why you just gotta look out for yourself. I life is meaningless. What? This movie what? is definitely teaching me that. What is the water? We I thought the whole f point was like in order as possible is to just live life, I guess. They're trying to make it so that Timon and Pumbaa's mi lifestyle is, is the big bad, but it, it, they, they weren't like completely devoid of responsibility. They just were living on their own principles without having to. Ugh. <laughs> Must have been the termites. <laughs> Or the crickets. <laughs> oh, again? Is that another fucking fart joke? Are you kidding me? Of course me right they now? are. How many farts are gonna be in this movie? Like, they think inserting a stock fart sound effect is gonna make their movie funnier. Hey, maybe the stars were glimmering there, but it was not quite as clear as it was in the original. Oh no, my TV's gonna turn off in five minutes. What can I possibly do to prevent it? <laughs> Oh god, no, don't let your TV- Th This shot is just a representation of all of us right now, like, please just let it in, I'm so tired. Just like the stars are trying to impress us right now, but we're just not giving a shit, we don't even care. Watching over us. They're all watching over us. Uh, well, uh watching yeah, th th this is build up for, uh, he lives in you. Now, the good question is, is go- is he lives in you going to be good in this movie? The answer is probably no. I don't even know if it's gonna uh, show up, <laughs> unless it's like in the credits. Oh, well, I assume it is. I can't! I actually can't! I can't! M neither can I, Pumba. Neither can I. You can, I can't. Funny joke. Oh, uh, guys, look, I'm sorry to tell you this right now, but I'm so fucking done with this movie, I don't care. I just got a comment saying why so much Al House with a vomiting emoji next to it. Oh, I wonder what they think of certain groups of people. You know what, just for you, here's some images of Luz and Amity. Just, just for you, just for that one person who wrote this comment. Please enjoy it. Oh no, I just- oh, oh, oh. No, what Oh my god, I now? forgot okay. about this! <laughs> uh, yes, that, wait, wait, hold on a sec, what should I prepare for? I need to be yeah, prepared I here. I forgot about this stupid fucking clump of hair! A similar thing happened in the original. But it, right? it did not take five years for it to get back to Rafiki! <laughs> Are we just gonna watch this slowly go through the water here? There are, layers, there are layers of complexity. Oh, layers of screen time. Okay, that makes me feel much better. It's the deepest yeah, yeah, 10 minutes so, so, wasted ever. So the party's ever. not gonna take it. Uh, <laughs> let's see what's gonna happen, all right? So it's gonna be two hours of, of us watching a stick go through the water. <laughs> all right. All right, just cruising along with this fucking oh my music God. in the background. No, oh, I forgot how bad this was. Why are the Twitter, why are the Twitter birds in every movie? <laughs>
<laughs> Why do they keep showing up and ruining the movies? Uh, okay. What, what happens what next? What happens no, next? No, no, oh, what are you even what doing? Happens next? Oh, oh, you you have no idea. You have uh, no idea. John Favreau, what are you doing? Is he gonna shit it out now and it's gonna <laughs> go down another stream of water? Is he gonna snort it out and it's gonna blow through the wind? He's no. just gonna shit it out out into the wind. How does it get? What is it? What now? What's happening? Does, does he know? Does he know? What? Is, does, what? Does he what? know? What? Does he know? What, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is on my screen? You are on the what? again. What? what? <laughs> God, wait, 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 hold on a second, wait, 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 wait
It's literally midday. Yeah, can you feel the love this morning? Perfect harmony. All its living things. Yeah, it's literally, it's literally like the crack of dawn right now. What are you, what the no. fuck? What? At, least, at, least, at least before it was a sunset before it became night. Don't worry, it'll be nighttime by the time they're finished the song. I don't it's all think good. it will. I don't think it will. It'll just become nighttime like it did earlier in the movie. Why won't it be the king? The singing, man. The oh my singing. God. Uh, it's it's the record artist auto produced. It's tune. not even that. It's just it's the. Not tune. Well, I mean, it is auto tune, but Beyonce. yeah, it's it, okay. This song, this song is shit, and it's still better than the rest of the soundtrack so far. The the biggest thing I would point out is just that it's the extra inflection on their words sounds like like this is what you would hear in the credits like the whole new world cover in the credits of Aladdin. No, 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 not that one. The the, the original one in 1992. Oh, okay, okay. That one actually sounds good. Yeah, everything is extended. Jesus. Beyonce, stop. Be Beyonce's the person you hire for the credits version because she can, like, she's a really talented singer, but- We're at the end of the song. It's not nighttime. You were wrong, Avert. You need to be able to sing in character, which is not what they're doing here. Man, Simone and Pumbaa sure do look really broken up about this whole turn of events, don't they? I mean, they look broken up the entire movie. They look broken as fuck. Look how they massacred my boy. Yeah, that show was a uh, tonight, huh? 36 minutes How the fuck left. are we two thirds into the movie? <laughs> look how nighttime it is right now, Trevor. See the nights going on right now? All this night you see here. So in case anybody was curious, the original movie is an hour, 23 minutes, and 21 seconds long, <laughs> not counting the credits. In about a minute, we're gonna reach that point. No. Oh <laughs> my god. Mm. Which one of you chuckle fuck suggested this again? Hey, I, I suggested a double feature. <laughs> no, I mean like originally when we were generating ideas to do. I actually I don't didn't. know who suggested this. Was it OJ? No. OJ, did you were you are you the reason that this has been unleashed upon us? It was Waffles, wasn't it? It was Waffles. I bet you it was Waffles. I did suggest your name and, and went with you, but it's not on the list. I mean I suggested we do the Mulan double feature, but you know, we need to watch the lion shit. Literally. I need to stop making- every time I make a joke, without fail, I make a joke and it somehow comes reality. Uh, haven't somehow. you learned by now that joking is a terrible idea? I knew that the shit was coming up, so when I heard Robert say that... <laughs> oh god. I was like, hmm, does he know? What is he cooking? <laughs> <laughs> what is he cooking the shit? <laughs> the blue stuff? Ah-ha! It was a bird that suggested this pile of shit. Wait, what? Was so I like boring. half asleep or something? I, I will copy the message link and I will send it in the group. There you go. I must I must have been on the blue stuff. Oh, there we go. Th this is the... the, the oh, the no. Oh, no. no. You don't even know who you are. Oh, and I suppose you do. Oh, uh, that sure was some acting there. Yeah. And I suppose you do. He's alive. And I can take you to him. Follow me. Yeah, I love how he just learned that he just someone told him his father's alive and he has no facial expression. What the? What the? What the? Oh my god, the, the, these camera angles. It, it just looks so dull. Like, there's no personality to it. It, it. it was much more, it was a much more exciting chase. It wasn't really a, it wasn't even really a chase in the original, it was just running through the forest. Like, it but felt urgent because it, you could feel the emotions that Simba was You could feel the love tonight. When told that his father was actually alive. A jump scare? There we go, jump scare. Literally just FNAF jump scare. Also, apparently Waffles can't see that we're in a car right now, so consider this proof, Waffles. We're currently still recording this pile of garbage. Literal raw sewage. <laughs> literal, sh literal shit. Forgot how exhausting it is recording these commentaries. Like, holy oh, shit. But it's also, but it's also a lot of fun. It was not this exhausting on any of the other remakes. Yeah, just blurry. Why does it have to look so fucking dull? Oh no, Waffles been forced to watch the Super Bowl. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Oh, this, this, this. Oh, fucking Cloud Dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually gonna be in the movie. <laughs> No, no, you see, you see, it's it's cloud, but some the thunder like shows like a, a lion sometimes. Okay, it's cloudy with a chance of shit. It's totally the same as the original visual. T 
totally. Well, because they realized that Cloud Dad would look stupid in, in, in hyper-realism. Cloud that, Dad. That's when he decided to fucking can this piece of shit. <laughs> that's when, no, wait, that's when they realized it looked stupid in hyper-realism? It took them that long? It took them an hour and 27 <laughs> minutes to realize that the Oh, there's still stupid. half an hour to go. Shoot me now. Yeah, there is still half, or over half but, in an hour yet. Look, yeah, we haven't uh, started the, the, the four laps. We haven't started yet. <laughs> Just cloud. He just clouds in the sky. I guess. Question: Would you would you rather watch the Super Bowl in its entirety or uh, watch this? Uh, well, I choose Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> yeah. I choose Hi Fi Rush. Playing Hi Fi Rush again. So th that depends. Am I watching that? Am I watching it by myself or with you guys? Because my answer will change. By yourself. By yourself. By myself. Okay. The entire Super Bowl or the entire Jesus Lion Christ. King? Jesus Christ. Uh, I mean, I, f I feel like it has to be Lion King because it lasts le like uh, it took. It takes like an hour for the for the clock of a football game to progress five minutes. <laughs> yeah, and at least in the football game, there's not a random bug cam. We finally made it to the 30 minute left mark, gang. Let's go. What the? F when is? What's this beat? What is this song? It's the new song. All I know is I won't go speechless. Then it would have been worth it. Then they could have used that. But no. This looks like uh, this what? looks like Microsoft with yeah. XP yeah. background. Why? Simba, what are you doing in the like, middle of the desert? Did they really just? Okay. They just bump into each other in the big ass desert. Why? Also, uh, what about Timon and Pumbaa? Yeah, fuck. No, no, no. They're fuck just, them. Yeah, fuck them. If I were Simba, I would also leave those abominations behind. Well, it, it's just more like he feels like he has to do the battle, but I'm just wondering how they're gonna get here. Maybe Rafiki will tell them? I hope they don't arrive too late, though. The, the plot fairy will drop him off. It's fine. The friggin' plot here, yeah, plot caboose. The the, the the plot bus is leaving in three seconds. Better be better be careful. The plot bus is coming. Also, I'm sorry. Is that Pride Rock? Yes. Dude, Dude Pride, Pride Rock! Rock. That looks no. It is. Yes. Well, it is supposed to look bleak. I guess it just looks yellow. I guess. Who will? I will. It's going to be dangerous. Danger. Yeah, this totally feels like the same lead up to final battle. Like I, I, I get no epicness from this. Oh, speaking of no epicness, Zazu had to show up again. Welcome home. Oh, we're here. Oh, everyone. How the fuck do you get here this quickly? What the fuck are you, Sonic the Hedgehog? The spirit song doesn't feel like it totally matches with the rest of the movie, so it just it's just distracting me. Whereas in the, the original, the orchestral score did a great job of building up to this moment, and then you arrive at the desolate wasteland. Whereas this just looks like a desert in the afternoon. This looks Looks like Breaking Bad. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Honestly, yes. The thing about the thing about Breaking Bad is it has actual good cinematography to it. I don't understand. Did they just happen to see them? See him like leave? I don't have. Whole Super Bowl. Waffles, waffles. You have to watch the Super Bowl. We have to watch literal shit. <laughs> like literal shit. <laughs> like literal shit. Yeah, shit. No, like an actual ball of shit rolling by on the screen. <laughs> the fuck <laughs> God, dude. I forgot how terrible this movie was. Right, so how did it be they pulled a Pinocchio? I was not harsh enough to this movie in my worst movies right now. <laughs> With Aladdin 2019, I was caught off guard when the dance bullshit happened because that just kind of slipped my mind. But if you asked me beforehand, does he puppeteer Aladdin into a dance? I would have been like, oh, I think it does happen. With this movie, if you ask me, is there a literal ball of shit rolling across the screen? I've been like, no. That why happened. would they ever do that? Yeah, why would they do that? Like, why would there be a five minute scene dedicated to a rolling ball of shit? I legit purged <laughs> that whole thing from my brain. Oh, shit, oh, Your dinner be what happened to the song? Okay, what happened to the song? And why are we doing this in the middle of the desert instead of doing it in that cave? They replace, you know, the song with just a beauty and the beast. Like, I, don't understand, I don't even understand why. Like, what was what was the reason? You replaced the original epic hula song. Is it, is, is it because Billy Eichner literally couldn't sing it that fast? <laughs> they don't wear the hula gear in real life, so they couldn't do it here. It's unrealistic for them to be doing a hula dance. <laughs> oh, here it comes! There here it is. comes! My old friend. No context needed. He had to have his light. Cab lift him, Woo! 
He had to have his stick behind a random rock. They would conveniently be right next to him at the right moment he needed it. Also, because we were screaming uh, above it, like, what was the background track actually MCU style epic? Uh, probably. I didn't hear it. I'll pull. I'll play it in editing. You can determine for yourselves. So how far are you guys in the movie? Not far uh, enough. We, we have, still have 20 minutes to go. We have 25 minutes left. If you want to jump to a timestamp, go to one minute, one hour, 35, 35 minutes, and I'll tell you when to press play. All right, one hour, 35. Oh, wow, Waffles gets to skip the whole movie and then show up yeah. at the climax. <laughs> wow, Waffles, jeez. He gets to use the Rosalina Super Mario Galaxy thing. Oh, thank you so much. Are you with me, lions? Never mind. Fuck this shit. Okay, yeah. fine. Yeah, understandable. Waffles went to the frame, was like, oh dear lord, what the fuck is on my screen, and then like, uh, Murderer! No, it was, it was an accident. If it weren't for you, the king would be alive. Do you deny it? I'm not a murderer. No, no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I, oh god, I... <laughs> You know, maybe you shouldn't have shown Mufasa being lightning Just in the cloud earlier. Just the random lightning strike? So, like, there is a random comedian lightning strike in the original, but it's worse here because they showed Mufasa in the clouds as lightning earlier. I Okay, never mind. He does exactly the same thing. Well, they, they fixed this so hard. Oh, by having a flashback to him. Yeah, <laughs> oh, the the slow motion. The slow motion. The slow motion. Now we got the fridge. That's too good, dude. You told us you didn't get to the gorge in time. Then how did you see the look in Mufasa's eyes? That's the part that. Oh, did he? What if Sasha told him he was fucking there then? Yeah, so th there was an attempt to improve that by making it so that they didn't immediately believe him. When... Was there an attempt, Trevor? Was there an attempt? There was, because originally. They just believed Simba immediately, but here they believed Simba because of a contradiction in Scar's story. The problem there is that they've made it so that Dazu obviously would have been able to fly back to tell them that Scar was clearly at the gorge in time, which wouldn't have been an issue if they just had Scar knock him out like they did. And also keep him in prison so he wouldn't be able to talk to them. He just lets him run free, even though he knows what happened. Because e even in the original, while he, uh, he wouldn't remember things correctly, he could still remember that Scar went there to tell Mufasa about Simba. So I assume that the plan was to keep him jailed so he wouldn't tell the lionesses, but whatever. Oh, here's that 1v1 I was talking about earlier. I can't wait to see the slow motion here. Chubby? You are close. One minute too late, sorry buddy. No. I've been waiting too. Really? Anyways, I just wanted to try to sync up that audio. You know, you failed. this is literally just an Avengers fight scene, dude. Okay, you come on. You know, I feel like you didn't set this up well enough. Yeah. Not at all. Tally ho! Is this Rafiq? Yep, this is ba, 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 ba. Mr. John Favreau. I'm not sure if you know this, but baboons actually don't wave around their sticks like a kung fu warrior. That first person camera there. It's called Pumba Cam. They strapped a GoPro to a warthog and they filmed it. Great. Again, I, I don't know if that's Nala or Sarabi. I think it's Nala, just because thematically it, it's it's their big confrontation. She just like throws her off a cliff. Whenever there's a cluster of people on screen, it, it is really hard for me to tell who's who. Yeah, Agreed. just a bunch of blobs. Everyone looks so goddamn similar, and it all every character blends into each other and the background. Yeah, like who's Simba and who's Scar? Like which one? Who's chasing who? Who's chasing who? I only I only know that Simba's chasing Scar because I've seen the original movie. Wouldn't kill your only uncle. No, Scar. I'm not like you. Man, the acting just is like... Yeah. The voice, there's not been a single good voice actor on this entire fucking movie. Which is saying something when one of them is James Earl Jones. And one of them is Chewy Tell Edge of Four. Run away, Scar. Run away and never return. That doesn't turn threatening at all. Wow, I can just see the, the thing he's gonna use. It's so easily telegraphed in this one. <laughs> That felt a lot more self-inflicted than Yeah, the like, it, it was more yeah. deliberate. He could, he could just go, like, to the other side. <laughs> well, I guess that's it. Did. We won. Roll credits. Please. Please. Now what are we gonna do about the- what are we gonna do about this burning forest? Well, it's gonna be the same thing as the- like, the, the roll will cause- Oh, no, it's not the roll. Yeah, it'll be the clouds. Me. The cloud dad comes along. Like, w was- is that why Mufasa is, is clouds and lining? To try to explain those? They try to fix things that didn't need to be fixed while ruining things that didn't need to be ruined. Fixed things would be nice if it didn't destroy a lot more stuff and just be inferior in every other way. There's only one true thing you ever said, Scar. A hyena's belly is never full. 
Taking a page out of Blue's Big City Adventure, I see. No, yeah, not the camera, the camera angle. For no reason. No. They took a page out of the movie before it even came out. And they got the shadow. Or you don't got the shadow. Never mind. There was a shadow. It was just not as It was just at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, it was. the shadow took up the entire screen. And then there was like a whoosh of fire to the next scene. I'm so done with this shit. Again, sounds like, sounds like store brand Home Alone music. 14 minutes, but a lot of it's I'm hoping credits. a lot of that is credits. I'm really, really hoping a lot of that is credits. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if 10 minutes of it were credits. So the final shot of the movie is at 1 hour, 47 minutes, and 39 seconds, so... Oh, we have two- we have a minute and 30 seconds left. Oh, thank god. That's this a lot the longest better. minute of my life. One minute in- in Lion King 2019 years? It- it- the music just doesn't feel the same- it just doesn't hit this hard, I'm sorry. Nothing hits hard yeah. in this movie. Nothing hits at all, actually. Well, except my, uh, my throat from laughing so much. Yeah, the only thing that hits hard is my head against my desk. Same. It's not the same about uh, that, those shots. Yeah. One hour and 47 minutes will put a real crick in your neck. You know, what the worst part is that Hans Zimmer did the exact- Like, he's also working on this movie. Like, wow. It, it, like, it was- It was Pharrell Williams that fucked it all up. I didn't try to fix it. I didn't- I, I tried to uh, perform it again. You know, I always didn't get to perform it. Is that that mouse from earlier? Yes. Oh my god, they had to bring him out. Didn't get enough screen time. A full circle conclusion. I thought it was a line, though. Wasn't it a line? Yes, everyone lived happily ever after, and the kingdom was safe forever. How thrilling. Yeah. Can we get an end, please? Trevor, this would be a lot better if I could look at the giraffes the same way ever again. Please, and come on, end with the Lion King, and then show the 50 million VFX artists, and then let's let me go to sleep. Come on. <laughs> Get up! He can't stand up. That's not a thing that he's that allowed to do. That giraffe's animation looks very jank. And the okay, movie. So it like, did it look like did it did it look like shit? Guganic, did his the giraffe look like shit? Oh, thank Christ! It's finally it's literally oh ten minutes god. of credits. Oh my oh. god! Okay. I am so sorry for my Google Drive that it needs to store all that, this. That that might be that might be the worst movie ever Sean. made. John. <laughs> John? That John? Long John? Okay, I think Papa John could have made a better movie than that piece <laughs> of shit. What the fuck did I just watch? What the fuck did I just watch? Trevor, what did I sit through? I sat through an hour 40 don't, minutes. Don't blame me. This is your nothing. idea, buddy. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't blame me. No, I didn't see the movie. You should have went in and said no. You should have vetoed the idea. You should have said, I am not watching it. Then we could have went on. We could have fucking. I could have ate ice cream. Could have slept. I could have fucking chucked bricks through windows. That'd be a more effective use of time than looking at this. I could have ate a cactus, and that would have been a more enjoyable experience than sitting through this piece of shit. That movie was so terrible. That was terrible in every conceivable way. There was not a single good thing about this movie besides the fact that the credits eventually came along. All right, Pharrell Williams. Pharrell Williams made my ears bleed. My headphones are red now, all right? I didn't know I wanted red headphones, but you know what? I might just keep the color, because the color of red headphones looks infinitely better than anything in this piece of shit. So are we all in agreement that that's the worst movie we've ever reacted to? Uh, yes, I yes. am in agreement. I, f I guess the only competition is Lightyear. No, Lightyear was better than this. Lightyear was at least entertainingly bad. This movie made me beat my head against my desk. Some of this was very entertaining. More entertaining Oh yeah, one, like whole five minutes. Whole five minutes of this movie was just so yeah, entertaining. Th th this movie is clearly the worst movie because it's not well executed at all. Light Lightyear has at least had something going forward in shot proposition. I actually don't know whether or not Lightyear or this is an objectively worse movie. I, I think Lightyear is probably worse just because it makes, like, nothing about it works and it defies the laws yeah, of like, space-time. Like, if you only take, if you only take the, the original aspects of, of this, like the unique aspects from this version, as the objective qualities, I still, I, I'd say yes, it's worse. But because it still has some aspects of the original movie, and because the original movie is good, it, it keeps it from being, as a whole, worse than something like Lightyear. Every single thing was worse than the original. Everything. Every single, every single thing. Not a single improvement. Even the one thing Trevor thought would be better, it wasn't. God, dude, that's definitely the worst Disney live-action remake, though. That's, like, by far not even close. Have you- uh, we haven't seen Mulan yet, but until that day I comes... I doubt Mulan- I doubt Mulan's gonna be worse than this. It might be more uh, offensive. I- like, I- offensively I wouldn't bad. say that. 
Well, the thing is, I haven't seen it, so I can't say. But of what we've seen so far, this, oh my, this we're is all the worst. we're all going in blind. Oh god. Acting awful, music awful, presentation, the light and the lighting, the, everything about the way the scenes were shot and just presented and edited and paced doesn't work. Every new addition was either broken or boring and nonsensical. It, it, and some of the most crucial scenes of the movie couldn't happen because of the way that you wrote this, such as the, the sick scene and be prepared. And there's extra emphasis placed on things that there shouldn't be and the things, the really important things aren't focused on at all. This, I, I genuinely forgot just how awful this movie it was. Alright, where's the updated placement on the Yeah, list? I was gonna say, how is your list updated I, now? I, I, I think, honestly, like, I, like I, Ralph, Ralph Breaks the Internet and this movie have destroyed your entire list. Well, cause, Ra no, Ralph Breaks the Internet was already number three and Toy Story 4 is still number one. But Free Guy, though. I, I, I don't know. I, I, like, are you telling me this is better than Free Guy? Um. <laughs> Damn, Trevor. That list needs to be, like, rearranged, like, shuffled immediately. This, this, this needs to climb up number four at least. This, I don't know, this, what, what did I put it at? Like, number 14 or something? No, 14 was right. Okay, it's definitely, right? it's definitely higher than 14. I, I actually will check, but I, I think it did not to make to the top 10. No, it, it definitely didn't make it top 10. Oof. I, I think it, it, I think it was either, I think it's 15. I think 15 is the, the spot that I went with for it. Well, it's definitely oh, oh, look, here, here's a song that I thought was in the movie, but actually isn't. The beginning of the song just looks like the, the ringtone sound. I can't wait for when Be Prepared shows up in the credits. <sighs> My worst movies list. The Lion King needs to go so much higher than that. I am so- I, I, I actually feel bad for not putting it any higher. This is that- Like, that was like an unbridled piece of shit. Literally. Never stopped. It, from the opening seconds, it was already horrendous and it just kept getting worse. Not only is it shit, it's not even funny shit. It's just shit shit. Oh, oh, it is it is a number 15. Oh. Yeah, that's what I thought. That needs to move. Below Sky Skywalker Saga. Uh, not Skywalker Saga. Uh, 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 is this better or worse than Rise of Skywalker? Um, uh, it, it's below Last Airbender. It's below Ice Age. Uh, Shrek the third. I, I don't know. That list is so hard because they're all shit. They are. They're. They're all awful, awful movies. Which one is worse? That I, it is really hard to think to think that through. Like, what? Would, would, would you honestly, for those of you who've seen it, would you rather watch The Last Airbender again or this? I have not seen The Last Airbender. Or would you rather watch the Super Bowl? I've never seen Last Airbender or uh, the original show, so I can't. You should keep say. it that way. I think I'd rather watch The Last Airbender if only because it's shorter than this. I don't know. I've never seen it. All right, we're giving the win to M Night Shyamalan. Ding dong. It's like <laughs> he wins. It's like he him. wins. It's like impossible for me to pick because they they all suck so much ass. Like, who even recommended that we watch? Yeah, who, why, who, imagine recommending us to watch The Lion King 2019 yeah, and imagine like, who that. Would be so, who would be so evil that they'd recommend for us to watch that? I mean, people in the comments were saying to do it, so I was pressured. All right, I was peer pressured. I, I should say, we shouldn't place all the blame on you. There are some, also some- Or any of the blame on me. No, it's not my fault. There, there are also some sadists out there who actually wanted us to do this. Well, there you go. I hope you're happy. You, you got what you, you wanted. Are. You got the giraffe shit. You can you, go home. You got us to lose our sanity. Congratulations. Anyway, so you guys ready to record the Mulan double feature right now? No, I absolutely not. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to record it? I need, I need decompression time after this. I, I need do to like- Do you though? Move in. Now what are we doing? Wait, there's more stuff in the movie? No, it's just more songs. More songs. Is it gonna be Sam Jackson showing up? What if I told you I'm putting a team together on this? Samuel, J Samuel L. Jackson shows up and, and he's like, I'm, t I'm putting a team together called The Lion Guard. And then it's a live action show based on that Disney Junior thing. The Lion mm -hmm. Guard. Uh, what if I told you that I'm gonna kill all of you right now? What if I told you that I actually am out of energy? The shit ball killed me. What if I told you that there was a five minute scene where a shit ball rolls down the field? <laughs> Would you believe me? Hell no. Holy crap. Literally. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah it's called- it's referred to as Be Prepared 2019 in the credits. Gee, fuck. Yep. Whenever- whenever you see the-, the Also, the he lives in you. Ever. Are you kidding me? It's here, but it, it's not in the movie. <laughs> Whenever you see the combination of numbers 2019 in a Disney movie, you know it's shit. Every single fucking movie that came out that year from Disney. 2019, just such a good year, dude. What good movies came out in 2019 again? Like animated movies? 
Uh, 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 um, that's a good question. What good movies did come out in 2019? I'm kind of blanking right now. 2019. There's got to be at least one. Well, g- good movies? In 2019. Um, Lego Movie 2 was alright. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure Weathering with You released in 2019. Might be. Are we, are we only talking about animated movies? Or? Sure, but if you want to bring other movies, you can. Oh, oh, How to Train Dragon 3. I like that, I guess. The, the more I thought about it after watching it the first time, the less praise I've had for it. But I, I'm... Yeah. I'm gonna I guess it's it. in the similar Lego like, movie too, maybe. I'm gonna hold out until... If, yeah, if, Weathering with You was also 2019. So that that's my pick then. Sure, uh, that'd be my pick too. If FG and I ever do the How to Train Your Dragon movies, I'll I'll wait until then for us to for me to reassess my thoughts on the trilogy. Colossus here, I remember liking. Cl- I still haven't seen it, but it probably deserves the win over. Well, no, it definitely. Oh yeah, deserves- yeah. No, never mind. Never mind. Claws would be my movie, my animated movie of the year 2019. Yeah, I I haven't watched it. I for me, it stays weathering for you. Great movie. It's nothing too unpredictable for an animated movie, but it's definitely infinitely better than any other animated movie that came out 2019. Also, and it's also a 2D animated movie. Look at that. <laughs> there was some good stuff in there. Not in Disney's department, though. Not in Disney's not department. Not even one. <laughs> not even one. Not, not even yeah. one. You got like half of one with Far From Home, the end. Although I did like Endgame, even though it, objectively it's shit. And I think a lot of people, I understand why anyone would come away from Endgame liking it, but if you really break it down, it is completely dysfunctional. It is a mess of a film. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But, but Trevor, Detective Pikachu came out 2019. Uh, if I gave any level of a shit about Pokemon, I would probably have made a video on that movie by now. I just don't care. I... Oh yeah, but Trevor, Trevor, we gotta know, we gotta acknowledge the best picture winner of 2019, Cats. <laughs> <laughs> and so Trevor died. The cats killed me. Dora and the Lost City of Gold. Oh, never mind, I take it back. That's the best movie 2019 right there. Dora <laughs> and the Lost City of Gold. No competition, <laughs> nothing oh came God. close. Absolute peak fiction right there. I can't believe I forgot it. I, I feel so ashamed. I can't believe I forgot Dora and the Lost City of Gold came out in 2019. That, that right there is, is the best picture winner. Oh, it was so good that everybody else in the theater left except for us. Including including parents with their preschool children that the movie was aimed for. They simply didn't understand the deepness of Dora and the Lost City of Gold. Just all the layers of pain. Alright, so in conclusion, that was absolutely atrocious. Never, ever. Oh yeah, we were, I forgot we were still recording. I forgot to... <laughs> Never, ever watch the Lion King remake under any circumstances. It is... Even though they just did. Yeah, but never watch it by yourself. Like, so I, I, I would recommend, I could recommend someone watching some of the other stuff we did just for fun, but Lion King 2019, you should never come anywhere near this movie. Yeah, you should not go within 20 feet of a Lion King 2019. You see it in the bargain bin at Walmart? Fucking leave. (laughs) Bolt out the door. Bye-bye. Don't even make eye contact with Lion King 2019. (laughs) Okay. So people, if you guys, if you guys made it this far into the commentary, comment meow in the comments. Meow. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Thank you all for watching us watch this one phenomenal film and one absolute dog shit film. I hope ten you out enjoyed. Of ten and then one out of ten. Uh, stay tuned for whatever commentary we do next. I don't know what order this will be releasing in, but we'll find. You'll find out for yourselves. And I hope to see you all soon for whatever it is you decide to watch next. Go- Goodbye. Bye. What a terrible, terrible film. Fucking kill me.